Okay, I'm actually a KL person, say born and raised here in Malaysia. So I'm say a multimedia graduate and also about myself person personally I'm just a normal person person like me I'm say uh, like a foodie then also explorer <laughs> explorer you know like to travel okay. uh, that's I mean in a simple summary about myself. For my for my business, I would say the type of business I'm doing right now is the e-commerce, which is uh, we say print on demand drop shipping. In short, it's called POD drop shipping. Okay. So POD in POD drop shipping, the place that I'm doing right now is in Society Six. It is a marketplace for artists and also for other creators to integrate their you know their artwork and design on. Itself. Okay. And the marketplace itself is they already have the products which started off as a blank slate. In, and they say uh, no things things that doesn't actually have any it's, it's an empty it's an empty canvas for people to you know, put their design onto the onto the items that were sold there. So in the marketplace itself, they have a variety of lifestyle items uh, like let's say they got home deco, and then they got travel gear, and then they got apparels like you know, t-shirts and pins, and there's also stationeries and curtains, you know, all say mostly all kinds of things like travel gear, phone accessories. So all of these all of these designs that uh, they don't have they don't have anything on it, but People who like vendors like me who actually join in there, we can create like designs onto the item, then we market them out as our design to our customers. That's what uh, PO, uh, POD dropshipping uh, uh, works. There's actually other marketplaces that I do as well, as in like as in Big Bubble, then there's also other sites called Me Big, uh, and then there's other vendors who are selling it. Places like Zazzle, Design Documents, you know, Spoon Farm. The type of artwork that I do over there mostly deals with pattern and texture design. So I usually will create patterns onto the and then onto my you know, digital canvas, then after I will upload onto the product itself. People will get to see the preview of the item, like how does it look like from the I mean, on the pattern design on the product itself. So, like for example, those clothing, those clothing that people wear. So like this, say, you know, patterns that we create, we can also integrate this. That people can see the preview before they, you know, they decide whether they wanna get it. Yeah, it's pretty much every everywhere. It's it's a random. I say random encounter. Sometimes I just walk up to the, you know, walking around in the shopping area there, I see like this this boutique store that they have, you know, uh, a clo uh, clothing thing where they have the mannequin wearing the wearing this particular dress or clothing that has the pattern on it. You know. uh, mainly I would go the reason I would go shop go window shopping is to find ideas. Uh, like H and M, also they got a variety of those patterns. You can like you know see what they are doing. What is the trending color? That's where you get the ideas. They got like the seasonal, the four because they also follow the four seasons trends. So it's you get you get you get an idea on what what are the color theme for this particular season. And then next one, next time you go again, you see a different theme design. And then as for home deco itself, there is. Uh, Say places that go like IKEA, Tyson, those they, those they will they will have all this furniture, you know, with the the clothed furniture that has a cushion on it. Those they have the those pattern designs that you can, you know, get an idea of what are they doing. And there's also a team also over there. And as for, let's say, uh, 
uh, illustrations. Now mostly I will I will actually go for you no know, during my travels I will find like, places that are looking looking nice for my illustration. Then I will take a photo and through my say those digit those digital software apps where I can use it to convert to convert them into my into an artwork itself for as a say publish as an art print. So ideas is pretty much everywhere. Sometimes you see when you go out you see something that is like you know worthy as a as a painting or an illustration to be you know, put up for sale. Then you just you but outside here you can just take a picture, convert to artwork, then you just sell them sell them out. There's, I would say, a lot of advantages for going online. With the first one is say is the market, the worldwide market exposure. Or uh, one thing, this this particular business itself, they have a warehouse in the US and also in UK as well. So I would say my customer base is mostly like those that are mainly on the European region or Western region. Then. But there are also other parts of the world also where they ship out. So let's say let's say if there are customers they are buying from the new world region, means the West and the West and also the South, like South American region, they they will ship from their US warehouse. Whereas where people who are buying from the not the over region on European South Asia, Australia, they will ship out to the, from the UK UK warehouse itself. So let's say your customer base is pretty wide, more chances, more chances to you know, grab, grab more clientele to your site. Then, as for the dropshipping model itself, we really don't need to keep, to keep stock uh, for the items. So there is you know, less hassle, less hassle and worry on the inventory management. There is a bit, there is some, the ones, the ones of the, we say the hard work, the hard work itself, we just leave it to the people managing the warehouse to help us to automate everything from the orders down to the returns. They help us do it. That is also one of the factors, which is the automation in the work. Then, as for we say marketing aspect, marketing, I think you it is really unlike the old method where you have to go out and meet people, go and meet people, and then sell stuff. Like when the time when I work in property line, like the the work is basically is like you have to stand out and then you have to you know go talk to people every day, and that is also within a certain area within your and then you have to say you have to arrange meetings, you know appointments, and sometimes there's also travel time or that the the con I would say those are the little. But in the online business itself, you can market, you can do marketing online. So you say there is less of the hassle on the, you know, the logistical parts there, and then there is a wider, wider coverage of people that you can reach. You say definitely will be, definitely will be the money. Uh, uh, I mean, in in a bigger, in a bigger, more, more range of people than. Have more chance of selling, selling to different people. Like locally, locally here there is the the range is very limited. Uh, then we are only earning in RM. As for the site itself, what I'm doing here, what I'm doing over there is I'm earning in USD. So the another reason for doing that is for the conversion rate. So be able to set set the price and then market them to overseas people for them they see them as it's a normal it's normal for them to be priced that way I mean it's okay for them and when they purchase the item we get them we get them in USD and we convert them back to Malaysia Ringgit it is actually much more so you don't so the number of sales the doesn't need to be as high that you earn but you still earn as much Selling. So that's 
so I, that's one of them and as in yes another mo another one another reason why I started this is because I wanted uh, passive income passive income business uh, Especially during this time, around see on this you know, the pandemic issue, shops are the brick and mortar shops are closing down. It's difficult to survive because they are on the you know rental. They are also on the rental. Their people are out of work. They don't have any income. So that's what actually prompted me to build this artist. Like even though if you are you know, when you are one day you are not working, you have something that can come back and you know, support you. So yeah. that's the that's also the reason. Yeah. Expectations. I'll say the first the first two months uh, I'll say really don't expect anything. For me, when I started this, I was only just trying to focus on adding more things to the shop itself. I mean, once you start adding things to the shop, uh, naturally, you know, people, people will start to see there are more. You start, you have this variety of things. You know, people will start coming into your store more frequently because they know they are, you are selling this and then you are selling that. So, so the when I started off, I what I did mostly was on focusing on adding varieties to the store itself. The first two months, I can say you don't see sales. You don't you see it's zero. I only started seeing my sales when it's on the six month after building this business. On the six month, huh? then there's also some say marketing effort that you need to do as well. Like you don't just only build the test. You need to make it to make it up for people to know the existence of store as well. So we have to market on like social media platforms like FB, Instagram and mostly mostly I will market on another site is called Pinterest. Pinterest is like a say image gallery app itself. Inside inside over there there is a lot of collections of those home deco pictures. And so from from that side there you can market your items and then people and then you can link them to your store. People who like browse through the collection happens to come upon your design in there, they can you know, directly get directed to your store and get items that they like. Now almost three years, three years plus. Uh. As for Lazada and Shopee, right, I did browse through on their site as well. I mean, I'm also one of the shoppers over there. You know, typically you also check through other vendors as well on the same type of items that they are selling, different vendors, same type of items, but, and also different prices that they are competing with. So you can pretty much guess the nature, the nature inside Shopee or Lazada. The reason I chose Society6 was also for the, say, the ease of customization. It's been we, for, for whoever sellers over there, right, they have the option to customize the designs on the product itself. So it is something that is uniquely, say, the identity of the artist who creates the, this thing for, in the marketplace there. So whoever wants to find something that they they personally want or something which is more personalized, they can you know, get get a special request from the artist that they like. Okay, for the moment, for the moment, I still put on more effort on creating the designs and try to add more things on it. Because naturally, you say the more the more variety, then people will have more reason come into the store then they know you are having you're updating, you're having new stuff inside there. Now people can come and revisit again to expect something from you. It's
currently currently my goal is to let's say of course still still is to build up the to keep building up the variety of my store. But ultimately it will also lead to another another plan. I have plans to sell on other platforms as well. I mean you don't I mean rather than you're focusing on one area, if there is other areas that you can like put up your stuff there to you know, sell sell your stuff. So there is more chances, more chances to get more get more clients. Huh? Because not necessarily all of the people visit only one site, one website. They would they will probably visit for the other side because they have they have this other item so selling on more platforms give you give you more chances of sales itself. We have seasonal promotions, some some of them from like let's say twenty five percent discounts on all items. Then there's also other other times also we got bigger ones like on Black Friday, it could be up to 40%, 40% discounts. So there is there's a lot of things that you can you can go browse over there. And if you happen to like have any have any friends who are first time they get they get a ten dollar discount for signing up signing up as a as a buyer over there. 